hello traders it's samurai trader here welcome to this short session just about every trading book or course will emphasize that you always want to trade with the trend and it's great advice the two big questions that are not usually answered or easily answered are how do you objectively identify a trend direction and is the trend itself in the early or late stages what I'm about to present to you is a part of a formal presentation that I recorded a few days ago for my members of the and owners of the day traders fast track program but I just wanted to do a quick summary for the general public and for those that I have subscribed to my YouTube channel just to give you a rundown and a couple of great ideas that I promise you can dramatically improve your profitability so this session is about trading using an anchor chart how to identify high probability trade setups and as traders as I've got on the slide here we're like surfers waiting for the perfect trade the perfect trade is when the lower and higher time frames both confirm our trade so everything I'm about to cover is in the day traders fast track program but I just want to quickly get across if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do and visit my website to obtain more more information about the day traders fast track program and my ebook the truth about day trading just before we get back to the slides I have to put the disclaimer up required by the CFTC and the United States government if you haven't read this uh, or visited my channel before you'll see this up at the start of every presentation uh, if you haven't read it previously please take the time to read this disclaimer let's now get into this so what I've got here is a number of slides that I've just cut down a little uh, in a which was part of a one-hour presentation recording training session so I'll quickly run through some of these and get to it very quickly and I want to show you some charts because you'll it, once again this concept is really simple once you understand it so we've all heard the saying the trend is your friend using anchor charts ensure you are trading with the, the trend now I call them HF uh, HTFs uh, which stands for higher time frames so trading with the higher time frame ensures you're taking trades with the highest probability of success if you're not currently trading in the direction of the higher time frame I can guarantee you you'll immediately improve your win-loss ratio and profitability by doing so so using multiple time frames for day trading means it will begin with the higher time frame to help us identify the longer term trend direction generally speaking you'll have two charts up I'll show you a screenshot or two with three charts but you can really effectively do this with just two charts so you've got your slower time frame which is your higher time frame and the second chart we use is much faster and we call this time frame the entry chart or the EC entry chart because we'll be looking for an entry pattern on this chart trading in the same direction as the long term move preferably after a pullback or a retracement in other words on our slower chart uh, sorry on our trading chart I should say the uh, the EC we want to see a pullback and we're going to be referring then to the higher time frame now I like my higher time frames to be approximately three times higher than my actual trading chart now I like to trade on the ES 1000 volume which is very very fast so typically if I'm going to do that if I'm going to refer to the anchor chart I'll have a 3000 anchor chart many traders like to use fib numbers so on the chart examples I've actually got I'm about to show you in a moment they're actually fib numbers now some traders like to use time-based charts for the higher time frame and you might use if say if you're trading a 550 tick on the ES and I should say yeah the, the higher time frame concept works for all markets and all time frames whether you're trading Forex stocks or futures so let's just say here you're trading say a 550 tick 
on the ES futures contract you might run with say up to a 15 minute a 10 to a 15 minute chart it really depends on how fast the market is moving I personally prefer to match uh, if I'm going to run with a tick chart I'll have a higher time frame that is a tick chart I just think it makes it easy to calculate and a whole lot of other things so on my higher time frame chart as you'll see in a moment I've got a set of moving averages so I've got an 8 21 34 and 89 and the 200 so what I want to know is what are those moving averages doing now the comment I've got down the bottom here is has a high time frame had a t20 or a t20 dash one now they're uh, trade setups that we have in the day traders fast track program now the highest percentage percentage trade and for those members perhaps haven't gone into the members area and watched the latest recording which is much more extensive than what you're watching here is the highest percentage trade on your higher time frame maybe after a t20-1 so what I want to look at is the far the chart on the far right so we can see here that uh, well, I've got that black line that represents one so over here on the really low time frame one and you can see it here as well now what I want to point out was we don't have a perfect entry because what I want to see is price action below the 8 EMA okay so the blue line is my 8 I want to see price action close below and we can see here this first signal we had uh, it didn't qualify because you can see up here uh, it looked like it was going to go through but we can see here it went along for another three or four candles before finally it punched through and the point here is just be patient just wait for the perfect setup that's one point two over here uh, for my members you know this is a uh, a t2 and it's also a t25 trade so you've got two types of setups there and so point two there is there on slightly higher it's there and on your much higher time frame it is on this candle here what you also have traders is you've got a t3 t3 so you've got a t3 on all of these charts as well and because you've got a t3 set up on all three time frames your probability of success increases dramatically and what I've just noticed here is uh, on the five charts I want to quickly show you I've got the three time frames uh, on all of them but realistically yeah, I'd recommend you just have two that that's mighty fine but I just wanted for members I've gone into a lot more depth in the members area on this so that's why I got these ones here so very quickly yeah, we're looking at the euro dollar here now this is the three range now I really like the three range on trading Forex and then we've got the 8 range and we've got the 13 range much much slower chart so this is uh, entry 1 and you can see the entry 1 signified right here entry 2 over here entry 3 is there and 1 2 and 3 are on just those um, uh, 2 3 candles over here on the shorter time frame but what you can see traders is on the higher time frame look at our EMAs they're all in the same trend direction as our lower time frames we're now looking at the ES 377 tick a 610 tick and a 1597 uh, all fib numbers and they don't have to be Fibonacci numbers but a lot of our members are great uh, followers of Fibonacci so I've prepared these with fib numbers so we can see here that uh, we've got um, what we call a 34b and a, and a t25 we've got a 21b and a t25 here and over here if we look at the black line it's a t25 so in other words uh, and you had another entry up here but that was uh, up the top here so here you can see here once again that price action on the higher time frame is confirming the trade on the lower time frames we've got another scenario here where we close below the 8 we've also got a, a, a t2 
on the uh, this is by the way this is the NQ 55 tick that's a 144 tick and that's a 377 or fib numbers once again uh, you can see here we've got a if this is for members you know what this is this is a really nice uh, t3 and you ended up with a, a, a t3 here and also on the 55 tick now traders I generally if I'm trading the NQ I trade with a 133 tick so during uh, New York 55 tick uh, in my opinion is impossible to trade it's just too fast I really like the 55 tick during the Globex session uh, many of uh, my members know I love trading the Globex it's a lot slower on uh, NQ and particularly on the ES you've still got some fantastic volume so 55 tick uh, I would not be trading during New York I'd be doing a 133 over 144 but the point here is the black line signifies the same entry point on all three charts so they're all confirming the move at the same time this one's a little different this is the YM so we're looking at the 55 tick the 144 and the 377 so the same as our NQ but we're coming off if we look at the higher time frame uh, we we're coming off uh, a great t3 and it was also a t89 for my members you've got a t20 setup on your 144 but notice how and if you went across and you can't see this on the 55 because we've already moved along a fair bit but you can see here on the t20 that uh, uh, that it really confirms beautifully the higher time frame is confirming this t20 so these black lines once again are all exactly the same time plot as the higher time frame we can see the 8 EMA has, has changed uh, direction we've got fantastic angulation uh, you've got uh, just so many things all pointing to take this trade so traders in summary using an anchor chart a higher time frame will dramatically improve your trading profitability and it will keep you out of a lot of losing or marginal trades now for the really experienced traders uh, for many of us we don't generally use an anchor chart because we're scalpers if you're a scalper particularly you're in and out because what I will have or what I do have on my chart every day is I've got a 200 EMA and I've got the 89 but what that fails to show me is the pullbacks on the higher time frame and quite often it's those pullbacks on the higher time frame where you think you're getting a turning market direction on the lower time frame that is where you can be hammered so the benefits for all traders in referring regularly to the anchor chart are enormous so traders I hope you got some ideas out of this uh, if once again if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, for $197 also you receive my entire program which has got over 20 hours of video online video instruction and recorded live trading sessions uh, literally uh, and there's just dozens of resources in the members area so go to my website get some more information or if you'd like to drop me an email uh, and once again traders if you'd like to have a chat to me on Skype uh, on my website you'll find um, a Skype request form so I'm only too happy to have a chat to you uh, I deal with uh, probably over 80 percent of my traders are experienced traders and many of them have had been doing it really tough so if trading hasn't been kind to you um, I'm only too happy to give you a no obligation 20 minute chat with me personally on Skype thanks traders and I'll see you on my next video